I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas, and uh, we're back here again today with the uh, new Miller Matic 255. Um, so today we're going to cover some some of the other options you can get with this machine and other capabilities. So I got it hooked up today with a push-pull gun and aluminum. So we're going to try out the pulse aluminum setting, the regular MIG setting for aluminum, and we're going to try Miller's new auto set features for both. Um, we're going to go through some of the different guns that you can get with this machine for aluminum capabilities and uh, talk about pricing and that kind of thing for them. So let's dive right into it. Um, so right now I got this LumaPro Light 25 foot push pull gun set up with 364 aluminum wire. And we got all our setup on the inside. Right now the machine, I have it. When you turn the machine on, push pull gun recognized it. Came up with the pulse MIG. Give me a, so if we go to the auto set, we're gonna try that out first. Here's the auto set pulse MIG for aluminum. This is their target, arc length of target is 50 inches per minute, it's 360. Uh, we're well not quarter inch aluminum, 364, 4000 series aluminum. So let's give that a shot and just see how the auto set, set feature works for this uh, unit. So right out of the gate for the auto set, really not too bad at all. That was my that was the well. So it it laid down a really nice bead for what they uh, recommend. Um, let's just uh, let's try now. I'll shut the pulse off. It's giving us our setup. Now remember, we're running 100% argon, 360 force wire again, 4000 series aluminum, quarter inch, and here's the auto set for just straight CV MIG for aluminum. 340 inches a minute, 24 volts. Let's give that a shot. Now you're gonna notice a little uh, change in noise um, with this well. So on that, you notice the change in uh, pitch. So it's just on regular CV MIG. Um, not too bad. Didn't look too, too bad, but it's not all, I mean, I enjoy, I like that. I like the pulse setting for this aluminum better than I do the straight MIG setting. Um, just a personal preference. So when you're, when you're looking at, into this machine and people have asked a few questions about aluminum capability, um, so this is, to the best of my knowledge, the smallest pulse aluminum welder on the market today. Uh, the next one up is a 350P. That was the one that they always used for pulse, um, but they came out with this. Now this does pulse capability. So all your auto body guys, all your trailer manufacturers, smaller package, same output. Great, great little unit. So some of the different options on the guns you can get are a uh, Spoolmate 200 and that ranges right around a thousand dollars then you can step up to a 15a which is a 15 foot spool gun or a 30a and those units they run between 15 and 1800 dollars and then obviously this gun right here um, is just shy of 2000 so it's a 25 foot push pull gun uh, just shy of 2000 they make a heavier duty grade unit this is a loom pro light they make a heavy uh, and that's going to run about $22, $2,300. So just giving you a ballpark range of pricing for these guns. If you're looking to do this and you want to set it up for aluminum, and that's going to be your primary thing. Um, another thing to go through, uh, different consumables on these units. So these push-pull guns have quick twist consumables and different diffusers, different nozzles. Obviously, when you go to purchase this stuff, they're going to give you you know, the, the token three tips and a nozzle and a diffuser. So you're gonna wanna order those extra pieces for that. Um, also, you're gonna wanna tell whoever you're getting this from, hopefully bakersgas.com, but you're gonna have to talk to us and we're gonna get you set up on the drive rolls, which are gonna need to be U-Groove drive rolls for this unit uh, to push the aluminum. And 
believe they come with a double set groove, so you're going to get 035 groove or a 364 groove, so you can run either size aluminum wire. Um, we recommend Hobart's aluminum wire. They make a 4943, a 4043, and a 5356, uh, depending on what you're using it for, what you want to run it on. Um, those are all pretty much the most uh, attachments you can get on this unit. Uh, Anything different you want to that they have to add on? No, it's got use the same gas port you would for regular MIG. You just got to run argon, and it comes with a regulator. So that's that's about it. Thanks for watching my video on the uh, Millermatic 255 with the aluminum uh, edition with all our aluminum add-on stuff. Uh, some exciting news that Miller just came out with. They came out with a Multimatic 255 just last week. So. Um, stay tuned for that video. We're going to try and get one of those units in here. Uh, so it's a multi-process 255. So MIG, TIG, and stick. Um, it's going to be interesting. We'll look forward to that. So stay tuned. Leave comments on this machine if you want any questions answered or anything that you want to hear about on this. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, subscribe to our channel at Baker's Gas. And uh, thanks for watching.